Thanks. Parking garages in downtown Gilbert will be getting a new layer of security in response to ongoing cases of teen violence there. The town council voted tonight to deploy unarmed security guards for the next six months. But not everyone in the community is happy with the plan. 12 News journalist Bianca Bono was at that meeting tonight. She's live outside Gilbert Town Hall to explain. Bianca? Mark, the parking garages in question are home to teen on teen fights, underage drinking and drug use, and even earlier this year, someone fell to their death. But as the town works to find a solution to that problem, community members tonight are raising concerns about teen violence happening in another Gilbert neighborhood. Unarmed security guards are coming to two parking garages in Gilbert's Heritage District, an effort to curb teen violence and criminal activity. One at each location. Gilbert Police Chief Michael Solberg presenting the plan to Gilbert's town council, saying police were dispatched to 574 calls to the garages since 2022, and 66 of those calls involved juveniles disturbing. So far this year, officials say there have been 20 dispatched calls involving minors on pace to nearly double the number of calls from the past two years. The extra set of eyes, that visual deterrent. Not all community members support the plan, suggesting more policing and a parking validation system at the garages. Immediate action that can take place like now would be enforcing curfew. It would be having your officers start siding for loitering, start taking names. Gilbert's town council voting unanimously to approve the security guards after a lengthy discussion. The plan initially proposed for one year, costing $160,000, but council members opting for a half year stint instead, planning to review statistics from the garages every month. Motion passes 7-0. As the council works to address one problem involving teens, community members who live in and around Morrison Ranch are raising concerns about another. Residents say groups of teens have been committing crimes, including launching explosive devices like fireworks at homes and structures. This incident happening in early July while Jenny Jones' daughters and friends were inside. If the police had done their job and the SRO had done his job, there would be a lot more charges. Solberg also addressing the Morrison Ranch concerns Tuesday night, saying his department has been doing special details in the area since July of 2020. But they face challenges, including juveniles fleeing the scene and some failing to report crimes. Whether it be on a fat boy scooter or whether it's on an e-bike or electronic uh, or a motorcycle, um, they are often fleeing from us as we approach them. Jones and many of her neighbors fear the crimes in their community have been swept under the rug for too long, hoping police start citing juveniles more often. I've seen them patrolling, but they're not doing anything. The kids are not being held accountable. And in Jones's case, two teens have been charged, though she says several others were also responsible. Back to the parking garage security plan, I'm told those security guards will start getting training within the next week. We're live in Gilbert tonight, Bianca Bono, 12 News.